hope you're all still well uh, and had a good Easter um, and what a lovely Easter bank holiday, a bit windy and cold but how surreal is it at the moment, you know, not spending time with your family and uh, celebrating Easter like we would normally do um, so I thought the theme of the workshop today would be surrealism so uh, it was a movement, an art movement that emerged after the First World War in Paris and the Surrealists aimed at merging the conscious with the unconscious, linking worlds of dreams and fantasies with everyday world of reason and logic. And Surrealism can be interpreted as super reality, I suppose. Uh, the movement started initially with poets, playwrights, art critiques, and then developed into the visual art. And one of the best known artists uh, a surreal artist is uh, probably Salvador Dali, uh, who uh, lived 1904 to 1989. And he was quoted as uh, being inspired by the dream sequences and visions within his subconsciousness. So uh, surrealism then can be summed up as a 20th century avant-garde movement in art and literature. Uh, which sought to release the creative potential of the unconscious mind. For example, by the irrational positioning of uh, contrasting Im images. So I thought we'd give it a go today, my little approach. Um, so, if you zoom in on this picture, this is not the end piece. <laughs> but um, this is an area in my garden that I uh, was sat there watching, thinking, how can I approach this surrealism? And... I had this image in my mind. So you've got the little rocks here, the little bird house, and these funny shaped trees. And this is what I came up with. Da, da, da. You see? So I've got the rocks in, I've got the bird tree, uh, bird house, but it's now a bird box with a bird emerging from it. Little rotten apple here. So there's contracting images there, the birds flying out full of life, this is rotting and dying. I have borrowed the little Dali style clock as my sun there, it's pointing at midday sun there. Uh, and as I say those funny bushes I had, um, I think they look like teacup shapes. So I did like a teacup and then some crazy triffid thing there which is actually one of those um, bird of paradise you get in the likes of Lanzarote and the Thingy. And then I snuck a little uh, coronavirus in there, just so it reminds me that that's when I was inspired to do that painting. So basically, um, if you've got a window or somewhere to look out, uh, focus on a point and um, take just the ordinary images and turn them into something more contrasting or dreamlike or... Um, strange because surrealism is a very strange movement um, and uh, one worth looking up it's really good it's really good to express yourself with so that's done in um, uh, acrylic paint and um, fine liner so I drew it all out first in the fine liner pen and then I did my acrylic painting on top and um, yeah so that's one way you could do it uh, it take too long for me to do, to do it and it's fairly self-explanatory so that's my version or approach to surrealism but an easier way is if you would to uh, do a colour wash background or a cloudy background or a dreamlike background and then just um, clip off images or uh, images from magazines and we can do a collage ver version and you just place your little images um, I've got a little rotten apple there, there you go. and just come up with a collage piece, stick them all down and then you could always PVA, once you've stuck them all down you could always PVA over the top which would make it all solid and stuck together and just have fun with um, images like that such a thing. So that is um, surrealism. Salvador Dali. Uh, have a look, investigate and see what you can come up with. It'd be great if you could post them on. There's some great art coming on um, 
the studio social media sites and uh, yeah it'd be great to see them on there great thanks have a great day